and welcome. So today we're going to have a look at some of my tarantulas and we're gonna look into whether or not you should have a tarantula as a pet. This video has been highly requested. Many of you have really asked to see more videos of my tarantula. So today that is what this video is going to be about. Tarantulas are not commonly known as pets. Usually people refer to them as a hobby animal, which in general means that they're not something that you can take out, not something that you can sit with and, and cuddle with and all that kind of stuff. If you want a tarantula, you pretty pretty much have to understand that tarantulas are an animal to look at. They're not something to handle, they are something to look at and something to admire. You can think of it like a fish in an aquarium. You don't take out the fish and cuddle it, you leave it in there and you make it really beautiful and it's something to look at and something to relax looking at. Not many of you are going to relax while looking at a giant tarantula, I completely understand that. I really like to uh, to decorate their terrarium to make it look like a little piece of nature and it really does make me relax. I absolutely love doing that. What are some things you should know about tarantulas? Tarantulas are basically a big spider if you can say it like that. They are not what you call true spiders. They are a species for themselves known as the tarantula. Tarantulas come in many different colors and sizes. Tarantulas can go from being very very small to be very very big. The biggest one known or the heaviest one known is the goliath bird eater and that is a massive massive spider. Commonly said by the Goliath bird eater is that it can stand over a dinner plate without touching it. So as you can imagine that is a big spider. There are some beginner tarantulas if you can call it like that. Of course there are hundreds and if not thousand different tarantulas but a few of them are in general known as good beginner spiders. Tarantulas in general are very very easy to take care of. They don't demand a big amount of space. Actually they can go pretty pretty small. You don't have to clean for them every day. You may have to change the terrarium like once a year. They do require daily water of course, they do have fangs and they also do have venom. The venom is not something that we die of. You can kind of compare it to a bee sting and of course a bee sting might not be that pleasant but it's not that dangerous either. Unless of course if you're allergic to bee stings which then it can be quite dangerous. Haven't heard of anyone being allergic to a tarantula bite but you never know there might be someone out there. Usually tarantulas won't bite unless they are being provoked. Here specifically I'm talking about the beginner tarantulas, the one that I own, they won't bite unless they are being threatened to, unless they are being annoyed for a long period of time. A tarantula almost always will choose to simply walk away if it is being annoyed. A tarantula do prefer to be left alone. That's their first priority. But if you continue to poke them or annoy them, they will turn around and they will lift up the front legs and then they will show their fangs saying, I'm very, very scary. If you come close to me, I'll bite. If you then can choose to continue nagging them and continue to poke them they will strike but as I said the tarantula will almost always choose to walk away also a tarantula does have these hair on their back they are called urticating hairs they are the ones that they itch pretty pretty much if you get that on your skin usually that is a defense mechanism and the tarantula will choose to kind of like dust them off with their hind legs and then the hairs will kind of like float out into the air if they land on your skin then that's when they start to itch they're very very difficult to get off and in general they're just pretty 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 unpleasant to have on your skin. There is a big debate whether or not you should handle your tarantulas. The reason why handling is not recommended is because if the spider, they're very fragile, if they fall from your hand, they could die. Also, you are in the risk of stressing your tarantula tremendously when handling them. And third, you are in the risk of getting these urticating hair on you and you are in the risk of a bite if the tarantula is feeling scared. In general, tarantulas, they are for looking, they're not for handling. You can handle them if you want to of course but in general you should know that it is not recommended. I am going to be handling my tarantula today. First off I thought that we should take a look at her terrarium.
right guys, here she is. So this is Tessa. When handling a tarantula, your top priority should be to just stay calm. Tarantulas, they are almost blind, they're almost deaf, which means that they can't see, they can't hear. So what they really do rely on are the thousands and thousands of hair they have on their body, which is also why I'm trying to speak this way. Because tarantulas, when you blow on them, they can feel it pretty, pretty much, and they will react to that. So it's very important, don't blow on your tarantula. Unless, of course, you want them to move. Tarantulas, they are usually pretty pretty calm pretty pretty docile they're absolute some of my favorite animals i really do adore them i think they're very very misunderstood creatures looking at tessa here i don't know if you can see the butt i call it the butt this is also where her heart and her stomach is located so when a tarantula is eating the butt as i call it is the thing that will grow bigger and bigger you can pretty much see how fat or how skinny a tarantula is looking when you're looking at the butt this girl is pretty pretty well fed she's not too fat i would say sometimes tarantulas they can get too fat and you will kind of like see them drag their butt behind them and that is really a sign of a too fat tarantula. It can be pretty dangerous because the tarantulas they do like to crawl on the side of the terrarium just like you saw before and if they drop they can hurt themselves and the butt can, what can you say, can rupture. And that's pretty pretty bad because as I said before basically the heart, the stomach, basically everything is inside that butt. So if that thing ruptures the tarantula dies. Tarantulas also have an exoskeleton which means that that like us, our bones are inside. Tarantulas don't have that. Their bones are on the outside. If anything on them ruptures or they lose a leg or something, it can be pretty, pretty serious and they can end up dying from it. It has been known that a tarantula can lose a leg or two or even three and then they can simply regrow them when they molt. And that's pretty, pretty badass. But if the butt, if that thing ruptures, then you're looking for some serious, serious damage. Which is also why handling are not in general that well accepted because you are in the risk of dropping them. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get Tessa back inside. I think she needs that. In general, tarantulas are amazing animals. They really, really are. I do adore them. I have five of them right now. If you just want an animal that you want to do a really gorgeous looking terrarium for and you are just going to enjoy looking at it, having it here like a little piece of nature, then a tarantula is a really, really good choice for you. If you want an animal that you can deal with, that you can handle, that you can hold, that you can have out, a tarantula might not be the best thing for you because you really do need to prioritize them being inside the terrarium a tarantula good if you want to have it inside the terrarium having something to look at decorate a beautiful terrarium perfect if you want something you can handle something you can deal with work with tarantula is not the right pet for you all right guys i really do hope you enjoyed this video on is a tarantula perfect pet for you please give the video a like so i know that you like what i make it really does mean a lot to me also while you're at it just hit subscribe on that channel as usual you can find me on instagram under the name justice jungle also i just started a facebook so if you want to please hit like on that one too you can find the link right down below or you can just search for justice jungle on facebook thank you guys for now and bye bye